Hey guys, Brenny here, and welcome to a Hardcore Minecraft episode. Now we are in 1.61, which uh, I was kind of scared to update to because I was worried things would break, but apparently my cow farm still works. Uh, I've been filling in the farm down here is where I've been breeding them and bringing them across the... Oh wow, they're all stacked there. That's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, I've noticed a lot of new things already that... I don't know, have appealed. I haven't been even playing much on 1.6 yet. Uh, I stayed away from it until I decided to record, then I was just walking around a bit. Uh, but as you can see, I have taken away the glowstone. Now the glowstone is gonna have one indicator per whole room because I'm not gonna breed two cows at a time. I'm gonna run the whole lap, breed them all, and then the time should start. So I think the timer will start when this cow's uh, group is bred and this like pair is bred. Uh, but yeah, I will be not doing that this episode as I want to get all the new items so let's start off small uh, with the hay bale which is oh you can hear my little ticky thing I feel like the sounds uh, project more let's make a hay bale there we go our first new item what else is there let me see what else there is there's a block of coal which we will go down into here to get there we go feels weird not having optifine I feel so like I don't know the game feels unnatural. Alright, wow, this is... I'm going to have to stash away some stuff, as that's going to be a big project, making all that into the coal blocks. But it will run a lot smoother, so we will do that. Uh, we will put... I always uh, build up arrows, because I bring one arrow, because I have the infinity bow, and it just it gets annoying to... There we go. That's how I'm going to have my inventory set out. I'm going to get all that coal, make it into coal blocks. We'll place one coal block beside our big uh, block there. So I will just do that now. Although we should make the first one together as a team. I want to get everything, uh, even the horse armor and tags, which are found in dungeons, I believe. I did a small amount of research before I did this because I didn't watch any videos on um, the new blocks and stuff. I don't know why. I'm really excited for the clay, but I don't feel like I'll use it much in the hardcore, but in my beastcraft, I feel like I'll use it lots. Whoa, what was with that? Oh. What just happened there? Was that a glitch? I just put 64 in. Oh, no, one I remember. One had um a zero on it, I believe. Uh, a 60 instead of a 64. So this will give a 64. There we go. Let's place this coal block, which is a nice texture. This is a very good looking block. I would like to use that in a few builds. I will do the rest of the coal and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so all that coal turned into not even enough to fill up the hoppers. So this coal will last a while. I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, as you can see there, I've been smelting uh, nether bricks, which is, I, I don't know, I've kind of got an overflow of them now. I just recently crafted that whole thing full into nether bricks so i'm gonna eventually have too many and have to put them in extra storage which is good because that's the whole point of our extra storage let's just quickly make these and then we will get to what is our next goal the clay so we will get some clay we need to smith it before the netherrack though so we'll put it in there and i'll take out some of the netherrack just because that's something i didn't really think about is it oh it doesn't seem to be any more in there? Oh, there there is. Take that out. Take... Oh, wow. There's still iron ore to be smithed? Wow. Take that out. And now we will get our... Uh, what is it? What are we getting? <laughs> our clay. And then we're going to color our clay. And we'll pretty it up. And uh, the two clay spots we have here, I'm assuming I will make this one like hardened clay. And just clay and clay ore and clay... I think there's like clay ingot style things. I think. I don't know. No, no, there isn't. There's just clay blocks, the clay as clay, and then there's the hardened clay. And this will be where the colored clay goes, because we're not going to need too much of it. One thing I didn't account for... Oh, no, I did, actually. There we go. Carpet's right there. God, I'm so proud of myself, like, thinking ahead for once. Uh, I like how I say for once. Do you guys remember, like, ages ago, when there was just torches? People were, wo like, worried there was going to be an update where the torches actually went out and would have to use lamps. I really liked that. We were all freaking out. Alright, so from the looks of it, one of the um, uh, furnaces is doing the clay and the rest of the other one. Yeah, see, only one's doing the clay, so we'll have to wait for that to be done. But we can wait for eight to be done, which will only take a second. While we're doing that, what else is there? Oh, I wanted to see if I had slime balls because I need to make a lead to go collect my 
mule uh, and horse because I want to get one of each. Uh, I'd also like to actually like have all of them eventually. Where would I keep that? Would I keep no no slime balls? I don't know if I <gasps> yes I do have them. Yes, I'm so happy about that. All right, now we need some of them. We'll make we'll make ten, so we'll put one away. There we go, and we need some string. Which I'm ooh I'm low on string. I'm always low on string. You know what I have to do when I'm low on string, guys. I have to go outside in the night and actually kill monsters. That is new for me, like purposely trying to kill them. I suppose we'll put that away and put the string over there. But we have two leads now, so that's good. We'll get a chest out to put our items that can't be stashed away there. So here's our leads. Now we should have the... I'm not going to make every color of the hardened clay. I think I'll just put some away and I'll color some. Now our first color will be, we have to go get some dye. Ooh, I don't store my dye here. That's going to be, it's going to be different. I don't really think I like that. We store our dye all the way down here. Minecraft is looking good. Like this is vanilla, no Optifine and I'm, I'm liking the look of it. It just doesn't run as smoothly as it does with Optifine. It's because I have the multi-core loading. That's really what smoothens it out. All right. Um, how do I get there now? <laughs> it's this way. My bad. I still haven't fixed this to what I really want, but here we go. We will make, uh, we'll go purple. We love purple. Purple's our color. Oh, I don't, wh where are my dyes then? Do I have purple dyes? I do not have dyes. I have them here. I know that, but I don't actually have like a lot of dyes. Is there purple, purple? What go How do we make purple? Would that be purple? Oh, that's not there. No, I don't know how to make purple. I cannot remember the dice, so we're gonna go with magenta. Uh, wait, wait, purple's blue and red. Oh, look at me knowing colors, guys. You should be so proud of me right now. Let's do this. Purple, yes! Oh, God, so proud right now. And then we do this, and we get eight purple stained uh, blocks, which I don't think I really like the look of. Uh, we'll put it beside the purple one. Yeah, yeah, they're two different tones. I don't really like that. Um, I do like the other ones though, and it, it really comes for a different effect. I watched a guide on building by Voxelbox. It was like a full guide on colors and like shapes and all this, and it was really interesting. So if any of you have 40 minutes, by the way, it went for, uh, it was like eight different guides in one. It was really interesting. I'd recommend checking it out. I'll try to link it in the description if I remember, uh, and if I can find the link again. But let's put these here. So we have the clay, the hardened clay now. We have the leads. We just need to do the carpet, which I should have got some of over there when I was there, but I didn't, so I'll be back. Okay guys, so I made 24 of every carpet and we laid them there. They look really good. I do like the carpets. I don't really know where I'd use them though. I don't know, my builds in the hardcore, once again, I just don't feel could optimize the new blocks, but I wanted to speak about how I'm running extremely low. Oh, wow! Plus five attack damage? Wow! Did not know that. Oh, didn't know that it was going to, be, uh, going to be an addition. But yeah, I um, have used a lot of pickaxes when I was actually mining quart nether quartz, which are uh, in the, another chest. Uh, I actually, that's why I'm level 45. So I also wanted to ask you, should I repair the best armor we made? Is it worth repairing? I won't let it break, so uh, I can get your feedback on that. But yeah, I need a opinion on that. So what we're going to do now is go to the... Oh, this is Fortune. What we could do is get a... Do we have an Unbreaking? We have Unbreaking too. That's all right. And then we'll go get an Efficiency book. Add that on there. And I'll just put an Efficiency 3 on there or 4. I won't go Efficiency 5 because it's only Unbreaking 2. And then I'm going to go to the Nether. And I'm going to dig out of the door direction. So the portal's here. We walk this way and the door's there. I'm going to dig out that way extremely fast so we can get some of the new nether spawn and we can also get some new uh, hardcore area to hopefully find some horses. What we should do though is bring a lead. I think I just hop on them to tame them. Tame them. I don't honestly know. I'll do some research as well. Be right back. Okay guys, so we went out pretty far, we built a ender portal and we went through it. It is somewhere over there near the desert and I didn't want to go the desert way because the horses spawn in plains which I figured would be past this jungle. Uh, but on the way I found this. This is the first one of these I found. I don't know the combination, but I want to try it. Did I get it? Did I get the combination? Where's it open up? I don't know where it opens up. 
I'm scared. I've never been in one of these. And last experience we went in something I've never been in, I nearly died. So not cool. Uh, did that open anything? Oh, I think it opened their way. Uh, no? I don't know what, what I'm meant to be doing. I'm just going to bust it down and see what, what it does. There we go. Oh, I got a horse armor. That's awesome. That's exactly what we wanted. How does it open? Where, what was it opening? Oh, I may have actually opened it. Uh, I'm going to mine this away, to be honest, in the future. Uh, oh, I wonder how many arrows are in there. They're my arrows now. That's what they are. Let's get this. Oh, look at this, guys. Got a tripwire here. We'll break all the tripwire and all the redstone. So we want that near us because you know I'm going to die. We'll light it up so you guys can see a bit better. And oh, oh, no. I don't know what that does. And I'm scared now. Oh, I think only some are gonna, are gonna shoot at me. All right, so the combination, I believe, pulled back the door where I could have grabbed this, which is a weird place to put it, but yeah, there we go. We got our horse armor. Now we need to get a horse. I'm really bummed that it's um nighttime because the mobs are harder and I really don't want to be learning about how much harder they are in like an area that I'm not used to, you know? All right, let's just throw this over here. Hopefully we don't land in lava. If we do, I'm pretty geared up. I'll be able to survive it for a while. I have taken a screenshot of my coordinates. Can't remember what they were when I um, teleported through the portal, but yeah, so that's just so we can get back quickly. Uh, walking a horse through here is not gonna be fun. Oh, did I tell you I got the gear too? We got the food. Um, I believe you just feed them random stuff. A saddle, which, uh, oh, and I did need, what was it? There's something else I needed that I knew I was forgetting. All right, so this is a swamp. This is not what we wanted. Oh, look over here. This looks quite like a huge mountain. <laughs> it looks quite like a huge mountain. It looks quite pretty. This huge mountain is quite pretty. See, I haven't had that zombie thing where, like, another zombie spawns. I have, have I even got, uh, what are they called? Cocoa beans in this. I don't think I have. Oh, look at all the, the chickens. I, I struggle to find all this stuff normally. And, oh, we can look through the map over here. I'm used to having, like, multi-core loading and yeah the game is not used to running without that i don't think so when optifine's updated the map will load a lot nicer what's over there i can't zoom in oh no now i'm crushed all right i am going to come back when i find something worthy of looking at like i'm not just gonna run around blindly <laughs> oh wow oh i thought that was a nice ravine there for us but yeah i'll be back so luckily for me, uh, not long after, I did find three large plane areas. Uh, it's here, it goes a bit over there, and then it goes down. Uh, so that's good. And also at the end of this one, I actually found this village. So we'll see what's in here. Uh, one thing I also did want to mention was that I'm going to... Wow, the village is huge! Uh, is I'm going to mine away that whole thing. Uh, the thing in the temple, I think. It oh, they sound different. They're like... Hur. <laughs> Um, alright, yeah, I'm gonna mine down that whole temple for the mossy cobblestone because, yeah, you don't really get that often anymore. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. You guys sound different. Do you, do you ever usually make noise anyway? Ah, oh, disappointed. Um, put that away, that away. Oh, actually, I can't get them, so we'll keep that. And we will keep the string because I know I need that. Uh, bones we'll keep. Bring this gold and iron because I have the space for that. Uh, anything in here? Unfortunately, there was nothing we really needed in this village. I'm just going for the new, unique new items, so that wasn't cool. There seems to be more villagers though, so that's good. Uh, there's only one blacksmith here. I don't know if they can even have two. This is quite a large village. Um, Alright, so I suppose, I don't know, I might have to do some more research because if I just keep going back, oh wow, he's on the roof. If I keep going back and forth in the same uh, plains area, I believe it's, yeah. Uh, will the horses spawn or do I just have to keep finding new ones? Oh, also I think that the um, animals are spawning in larger groups. Like I've noticed a lot more animals than what I have. Oh, look at the creepers through the wall. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna look for some horses and probably do some horse research because I have no clue what I'm looking for. Be right back. I am having a lot of issues finding horses, but I found another village, and here is a temple, which is... Honestly, I just want to find the horses. I want a mule, really, I think, or a donkey. Whatever I want, I think the mule's the one that carries your items, so I want that one. Uh, how about we don't mess this up this time, though, and don't blow up the TNT down there by breaking down the wall along the side. 
and then breaking this pressure plate that we won't step on and then all the TNT because you know what I would probably still set it off somehow all right we got a diamond which is all right put away that and what do we got in here come on I want some horse armor oh wow it's good for diamonds uh, I'll put that away in there oh oh what's that oh flame one yeah eh, I'll bring it uh, put that away put that away I don't honestly know what I want to bring on me and what I want to leave here but I do need blocks to get out of here so maybe we will take what I have broken like that and them and we'll tower out of here but yeah I'm still gonna continue on my journey I, I want at least one horse this episode I was hoping to get both to be honest but from the looks of how it's going I'm not going to so yeah see you soon so I am pretty sure they are horses, but my luck they will not be and I had another four hours of searching. I have honestly been searching for a while. I walked north of where I came from all the way back up to my spawn and, and that's a lot of blocks. Uh, so what one of these is the proper one I should catch? Should I get- Oh, there's a little one! Oh! Alright, so what we do is we just hop on them. As you can see, I have more armor. I found some more like random uh, towns and all that, you know. Uh, I think we will go this one. I like this one. Uh, uh, L shift to... Alright. I think I just keep hopping on him until he befriends us. Oh, he befriended me! Oh, maybe not. Wait. Come on, befriend... Whoa, what's that one doing? Don't be... Don't hurt yourself. It was like hurting itself. What? Why does that one hurt itself? Am I making it angry? Just let me on you. Oh my god, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Oh, no. Here we go. I think the um energy bar is my... <gasps> oh, I thought I had him that time. Come on. Yes, we got him. All right, so we right-click on him. Oh, maybe not. Oh, well, how... There we go. Uh, I shift-click on him. There we go. And then we put a saddle on. We'll give him some bling. There we go. Now I have no clue how to ride this. Oh, my God. And I hold the space bar to jump. All right. It's a bit laggy. I feel like it's not very smooth. Once again, I'll define. Oh! Oh! I'm gonna kill my horse already. Do they swim? Where's some water? We need to find some water. You can see the land spawning over there. I knew the new system like this. You, um... The boats and horses face the way you're going. Also, I forgot to mention the, um... Going underwater. Let's see if we can swim in here. Alright, we can. Um, I kind of want to bring another horse. Can I get one and then pull the other one with me? I want to get... Hmm, we'll get a different colored one. We'll get like, because this is like a gray color. And we'll dismount off him. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. All right. Oh, this spotty one. I want this spotty one. Wait, this could be a mule. I hope it is. Its feet look different. It possibly could be a mule. Let me on you. There we go. Fall in love with me. Hearts. Just give me the hearts. I will. <laughs> hearts. Hearts. Give me the heart. Honestly, if you throw me off into like a hole. Alright, there we go. So, I jumped off him. How do I tell if they are um, mules or not? Like, does it tell you? What's this for? I wonder. We'll give him the armor too. We'll, we'll get a lead. And lead this horsey. And does it follow me? Do I have to take keep the lead in my hand? No. Awesome. And then we'll go get on our other horsey. And then I will begin the journey back. Oh my god, this is going to take a while. I will be back, guys. Can I- I wonder if- I'm hoping these guys can go through into the portals. So, while we were cruising north, I found a village. I don't know what to do about getting my horse across this gap, though, like... I swear they don't swim in the water, so... I can do this and walk it across the one deep water. I think that's the most it will go, which is weird, because... I- I feel like two deep would make more sense, but whatever, we'll get our horsey. Uh, I really can't be bothered getting the other one, so I'll probably just keep this one for a while. It's not, uh, I really want a mule, so you guys could leave some comments of what, like, how to spot a mule, what the difference is. Let's see what's in this village, though. Hopefully there is some, a blacksmith. Where's the blacksmith? There it is. Uh, I've also noticed the horse can climb a lot of things sometimes, and then some other times it can't climb very much at all. Uh, let's get off him, which I love being able to do. It's quite easy. Don't run away from me, horsey. Uh, we'll get some bread, which is good for the horse. That, that was a horrible chest. Honestly, looks like he's speaking to my horse. All right, let's 
let's adventure on. Uh, I just wanted to bring up that I also found a mushroom biome. Uh, I don't think I mentioned that earlier, and I'm pretty excited about that. It's the first one I've ever found. Like, I've found them in, like, Beastcraft, but that's because the members have found them first. Uh, that's how much exploring I did, by the way. Whoa. Whoa, don't take damage. All right. We are back on the run. I noticed jumping actually slows you down a bit. I think it's to jump gaps. I accidentally jumped a ravine before. Just naturally, my body was like, yep, you've got this. And luckily, the horsey did what I wanted it to do. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what are our coordinates at. We are at... Uh, yeah, this is about where I ran home from last time. But it was a bit more to that direction. I ran home like two times so far. Uh, no, I don't want to go through the jungle. I'm going to try to go around the jungle because... <laughs> Ah, uh, there's water there, jungle, alright, this is a pretty big jungle. The jungles are probably the worst, and then an ocean would probably be the next worst. I'm debating making a- Ooh, actually, I took a screenshot of what the coordinates of that nether portal were uh, at, so that might actually be an option as well. So I'm gonna go find that nether portal. So we got our horse back. They do go through the end por uh, nether portals as long as you're not on them. Uh, I've noticed a few bugs with the horses. I don't. Oh, I can't go there. That's actually a too high area. I th oh, is it? Actually, it may not be. We'll see. We'll just pop down there. Um, and if I start dying, I'll pick away at the roof. Oh wow! I'm just making some of these areas. Luckily, I made them three high. Oh no! I'm not gonna be able to get through there. All right, smash my head through there, horsey. No, he does not. What? Oh, ah! <clears throat> Alright, he put my head in that block. Yeah, as you can see, I don't know. I just feel like horses aren't as finalized as they could be. Uh, what's what's the issue here, Mr. Person? There's a one block gap you, you you can fit? I don't know. Maybe they need two block gaps. I don't know. Hmm, I don't want to have to bust down all my walls. I will break down this side, actually. So I'll do this. All I want to do is get him outside, but because my end portal was... Uh, in a different area that's not very easy to do. Alright, there we go. We should be able to get him outside from here. There we go. Awesome. Yay, we now have a horse. We need to get him a uh, uh, what are, a post and a leash or something. Is that what they're called? I don't know. I think it's just a rope. Uh, we need a rope and to rope him to something. What should we rope? I think we'll put him like... Put him at the back of this for now, you know? Like, I think that seems smart to have the... Uh, column there. I'm gonna have to go repair a heap of things that I broke on the journey of getting him back and through the building. Uh, right, we need to put away some of our stuff. I'll show you some of like, the chest I got uh, put with all the stuff from my previous journey because I came back and stashed. That's what we got. Um, we got 10 diamonds from that, so that's pretty good. I had to raise like so much netherrack because his head was uh, he was smashing my head into it. So that wasn't cool. Um, do we have any, where's the sticky things? Hopefully he doesn't run away. Slime balls. There we go. And I think it was there and then there. Yep. Let's see if we can make one more. Oh, that's good. We have four now. It's going to come in handy. Oh, five. Yes. Oh, well, eight. Oh, look at that. And I'm out of enderpearls that are actually on me. So, wow, I cannot get out of here without enderpearls. That's not cool. Uh, lucky we have this going again. Wow, this looks like it's going if Whoa! It looks like it's working quite efficiently. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Maybe because I've been gone so long. Is that normal? Wow! D wow! So, 1.6 increased iron golem farms a lot. Whoa, I'm going to have so much iron. Alright, let's hook him up and then I actually want to do what I, my main goal for this episode was was do some redstone for the um well, there we go look at that that looks wonderful let's put a hay bale beside him so he's happy um yeah I wanted to actually do some of the redstone and finish off the cow farm but uh, I was all excited to play with the new update the one thing we didn't get though was the uh, name tags wow I am going to have a lot of iron oh actually it slowed down but from the looks of it, it's, yeah, look, there's already another one there. Maybe I could watch it and see if they fall. Keep your eyes out, guys. Well, oh, the cloud's going through there. I was really confused then. Um, haven't seen any drop. Although I feel like the uh, the render distance of things is less with the um, non-Optifine version of Minecraft. Which I miss. I miss Optifine, but apparently it's like 40% at this current point. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm going to prepare some redstone stuff and I'll show you guys the new design of what I want to do with the uh, cow farm. Then I'll be back. Okay guys, so I've stumbled upon a glitch or something. You guys remember how I had all the cows down there and I put so many minecarts here and they all picked up and they all got crammed in that one block gap down there. Now I have some weird cow slidey no cart rail needed ball and I cannot separate them. Uh, I'm assuming I'll have to break all the minecarts, but that's not going to be fun. I'm not going to enjoy that at all. But I, I'm hoping I can do this. Like, oh, that one looks like he's going to come out. Let me just, hopefully I can stand in the middle. I tried uh, multiple, whoa, no. Oh my God. Oh my God. It just moves by itself. That's so funny. Oh, that one looks like it's separating out. But yeah, you can see my issue here. Can you not? Um, I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll break all their carts and then try to hopefully get them in the carts again. Uh, I think we'll get the carts going down here again when to break them apart though. So there we go, hopefully we can get them all on here. Watch them. And then I'll fly down there really quickly and we'll break this and not let them back up. Because yep, there you go, they want to get back up. Uh, so I'm going to do that, fill in this room, and then we'll do the redstone for this room together. I uh, got a pretty basic plan, uh, hope for, hopefully it works, yeah. Okay guys, so I got all these cows in position, I'll give them a breed and show you how it's going to work. Uh, this has no redstone, this is the unredstone side, but I have also done the redstone on the other side, and that's because I'm tired and I just didn't do it very well, I, I needed to, oh wow, I like how they stand under their parents, that's kind of cool, I'm sure I can manipulate that somehow, uh, but yeah, that's how the breeder works, and then we will have them go collect in one area where I'll be able to wait for them to grow up, and then I'll be able to kill them. Now this is the side with the redstone, uh, the reason I did it off camera was because it's really messy, and I'm not really happy with how it's designed, but it works and it's in the correct area. Like, we're going to have the cows get swept away this way, so it's not going to get in the way of anything. Uh, so yeah, we'll give it a test. I actually haven't tested it with the cows. I've only tested it with buttons, so let's give it a shot. Should work the same, so there we go. They both have a kid each. Uh, things get activated. A block gets dispensed. The cow will tr climb up and try to get with its parents. Where's the other cow gone? Did it like die? Oh, what happened there? I have no clue where that other little cow went. Did it breed? Or could they not breed? I don't know. Oh, the, he already got out of here? Wow, he was fast. Alright, let's kill him because they will cause a nuisance. And yeah, uh, that's about it. The block did dispense if you heard the little tick. So that's where the dispenser is. This designs a lot uh, more item friendly. I'll only have to put like 500 items in every like month, uh, maybe if I breed non stop. Uh, but yeah, that is about it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. We didn't get the tags, which is my goal was to get all the 1.6 new items uh, or at least touch on them, but we didn't get to, so that's. That's something for next time. I uh, want you guys to leave a comment of a name for my horse. And I also want you guys to leave a comment of your Minecraft name. Because I'll be giving away uh, some more Beastcraft memberships. This time, I think I'll do it a bit differently. And per 1,000 likes, I will give away one membership. Because we always hit the 1,000. So, the more support you guys show me, the more people will get on Beastcraft. Uh, I will pick the winners after 24 hours. So, don't worry about commenting your name if the video has been up for longer than 24 hours and I'm sorry for the people that do um, get to the video late and don't get that but I'll make sure I'll give away a lot more so that you guys get on there because I understand not everyone can pay uh, but yeah thank you very much for watching bye guys